Hey guys, real quick. We are trying out a different phone for the video today. So let me know what you think. Um, we may be upgrading our recording devices. So let me know if there's any change or if you like it better, you like it worse. Uh, I know there's been some changes, like my videos have been squished together. And so uh, let me know what you think. Hey guys, and welcome to the Farming Pastor's Wife. In this next video you are about to see, you're not gonna see a lot of my face. Um, you're gonna see my body, my hands, um, and there's a reason this uh, lovely little health disorder thing I've got going on, when it happens, it comes on with some facial discoloration. And yesterday when I made the video, it was really bad. Um, today, it's not near as bad, although there's still some left. Uh, uh, went to the doctor, got a good dose of prednisone going, so um, in fact, I'm fixing to take it. And um, they also did some blood work, so hopefully we'll figure this thing out. But there is a little bit of vanity in me. Not much, because y'all have seen me at my worst, but when it's, you know, there was a little bit of vanity, so I didn't show much of my face. But let me tell you about this recipe that you are about to watch. You have got to try it. It is delicious. Now, let me tell you where I got it. When I made the video last night, I couldn't remember the lady's name. Her name is Robin Benzel, and I watched it on her show, and, um, I thought, I can tweak this and kind of make it mine. You know, I have a lot of my own recipes, but a lot of the recipes I make are something I have an idea I have gotten from somebody else, and I have just tweaked it to make it my own, which is exactly what I did with this smothered catfish. And let me tell you, it is the bomb diggity. It is so good. Isaac's girlfriend, Jessica, was here. She doesn't even like fish and she loved it. Isaac had even warned her and said, bring some other food. Oh, my kitchen light decided to come on. <laughs> he told her to bring some more food in case she didn't want what we had. And she said, no, I'm gonna taste what Leslie fixes. And she loved it. And it is like restaurant good. So even if you are opposed to fish or catfish, give it a try. I think you might just like this. So I wanted to give credit to Robin Benzel. This is her recipe, but I did take some things. I changed it. I made it my own. Um, I got the, the overall idea from her and then I tweaked it. So uh, I hope you enjoy. Um, Y'all keep, keep me in your prayers. Hopefully we can figure out what's going on. Um, it also presents itself with muscle weakness and um, and y'all can pray for my vanity issue. <laughs> I think that's just human nature though. But y'all, I hope you enjoy this video and thank you for watching The Farming Pastor's Wife. why you're not seeing my face and you're just gonna see my hands but um, if I haven't explained it I'll explain it at the end of the video uh, I have four beautiful catfish fillets right here in my pan behind me I've got in my frying pan I've got uh, two or three maybe three or four tablespoons of olive oil and three or four tablespoons of butter melting and getting hot. So while it's getting hot, we're gonna season up the tops of our fillets. I'm just gonna put some salt on here and pepper. Now I think pepper and catfish, that is just a marriage made in heaven. Um, I think 
pepper and catfish go together like chocolate and raspberry or mashed potatoes and fried chicken. You, I just want mine peppered up really good. Now, however you season your fish, even when you're frying it, go ahead and season it that way. I'm going to use some um, Cajun seasoning, uh, and I'm just going to put a little bit. I'm not going to put a lot. Bryant doesn't like things spicy, so I'm not going to put a lot on here. All right. So, just as soon as my butter and oil get hot enough, we're going to bring it over here to the frying pan. I don't know if you can see it. I've got this new tripod with a light. <laughs> And I don't know what you guys can see, but um, we're going to bring it over here to the frying pan and I'm going to get those started. Isaac is starting his motorcycle outside. If you hear something rumbling, that's what it is. So I'll bring you back as soon as we get ready to put them in. Okay, guys, I hear it spitting at me over here. So we're going to go ahead and we'll turn it down just a little bit. And we're going to put these fillets in the frying pan. Woo. I may not have room for all four. Yow. All right, we've got them in. I'm gonna let them cook on one side. I'm gonna season them on this side and then we'll flip them over. Okay guys, so I have fried it till it starts turning a little white on the edge. I'm not sure how many minutes it's been, but we're gonna go ahead and flip it. I don't have a fish spatula, so we're gonna make do with Two regular spatulas. Ooh, don't that look good? Yum! My pan's a little crowded, but that's okay. <laughs> I can get that one flipped. Oh my goodness, they look beautiful. Woohoo! That one spit at me. That one fell apart a little bit, but that's okay. Because it's gonna, we're gonna let it fall apart anyway. All right. Now we're gonna let it fry up some more on the other side. And then I'll take you through the next step. While we're waiting for the fish to fry, let's go ahead and make um, my little topping that we're going to put on it. We're going to put breadcrumbs, uh, maybe a half a cup, three-fourths of a cup. I'm going to also add into my <laughs> breadcrumbs something you probably expect already. If you watch my channel, you know how often I use this. So we're going to put um, several sprinkles of this in here. we're also going to add in um, some Parmesan cheese. Just a few shakes. And I'm just going to take my fingers and stir it. There we go. And we're going to set that aside. Speaking of sides, what a great segue that was. I didn't even intend. But let's talk about sides. I'm doing a side of um, sauteed vegetables. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and cut those off. I had Isaac just stop by the nearby um, fish restaurant and just get us a couple of bags of hush puppies. And that is exactly what he did. I'm just gonna stick them in the oven in a few minutes to heat them up. And I made a, a bowl of slaw, just regular cold slaw. So, let's come over here 
I have a feeling the catfish can come out. I'll bring you over here and we'll get her out. Okay, guys, I really debated. I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit. I really debated on what to do with this catfish. I really wanted to fry it in two different batters and see which one we like. I was going to do a, um, like a tempura type batter on some and then do my regular cornmeal type batter on another. It's okay if this comes out in pieces. It's totally fine and you'll see why it's fine in just a minute. I need both hands. I need a two chef. I'm actually going to turn the heat off. But one thing with this oven, the temperature is hard to control. This is a smaller piece and it's the one that's falling apart for us. And if your second get it looks completely done. But if you're worried about is it done? Don't worry because we're gonna finish it off some more in just a second. All right, so now I have sliced up two onions and two bell peppers, and we're going in here. And if you'll hold tight till the end of the channel, I will show you or tell you um, where I got this recipe from. And we're going in with all those onions and peppers, and we're gonna saute them down. And I'll bring you back once they get soft. I'm going to add a little bit of the same seasoning I put on the onions, I mean the catfish, onto the onions and peppers. Just a little bit. We don't want to have this very flavorful fish and bland vegetables. And I'll even put a little dash of the zataran. Not, it's not zataran. I'm not sure what it is. It's Tony Chakari's Creole seasoning. If you watch my shrimp and grits video, I'll try to uh, link that. That is what I used. And that shrimp and grits, oh my goodness, is so good. So good. All right, we're just going to let them keep sauteing down for a little bit, and then we'll add the next best thing ever. Okay, guys, here's the good stuff going in. Sour cream. Sour cream, and yes, I have two containers of sour cream. Two, two half-used containers of sour cream. Yes, we are that family that opens multiple containers. Hopefully, Bryant will be here soon. We can taste this. And my other. Yes, it's a grocery store shopping week. Because I need more sour cream. I'm just going to get this good and mixed up here. <clears throat> I'm going to pull back and make a hole. Put some catfish. And we're going to cover it up. Make another hole. Put a catfish. Cover it up. 
make another hole. Put some catfish. And our last one going in. I'm saving out some crispy bits to punch on. And see, this is why it's okay if it falls apart. Because we're just going to reach in here and get some. Now, I'm I have preheated my oven to 375. And we're going to stick it in the oven and let it finish off in the oven. But this is what I'm going to do with the breadcrumbs. I'm going to sprinkle them. And this is really just for texture. I'm one of those people who eat for flavor, but I also eat for texture. If it doesn't have a pleasant texture, but it tastes good, I'm probably not going to eat it. So I thought this would just give this a little bit of a crunch and just a little bit more flavor with that Parmesan cheese. So I'm just sprinkling that on top. We're going in a 375 oven for about, well, I don't know. I'm just going to watch it. I'm thinking about 10 minutes, but we'll just watch it. I'm also going to stick my um, hush puppies that we need to warm up in. I'm going to just stick them in. And supper will be ready shortly. All right, gang, here we are. Show it to in the, uh, and the kitchen of the farming pastor's wife. Let's take a glance. Let's look down. Would you look in there? Does that not look phenomenal? Smothered catfish, right, Miss Leslie? Yes. Look at there. What's on top? Is that cheese? What is that? Would y'all look, look at them pepper? As Justin Wilson would say, Oh, would you look at that? I guarantee that's what Justin Wilson would say. The difference between me and him is there's not going to be any wine up in this house, okay? The only wine we got in this house is Isaac whining about not passing his motorcycle test. <laughs> but yeah, that's the only wine we got up in here. Because he got him a motorcycle this week. And the boy is going to pass his motorcycle test tomorrow, okay? All right, here we go. Miss Leslie joining in right there. Say good afternoon Hello. to Miss Leslie. All right, Isaac and Jessica hanging around here for the taste. They'd like a bunch of buzzards waiting to uh, to see what the test results is like. So, all right, y'all ready? Here we go right here. Smothered catfish. I don't know how she did this because I've been at church recording some videos and stuff. I just I just figured she might have fried it. And then she put it in the pan and put it in the oven. So, anyway, you want to try it, Mom? No, you go ahead. You want to try it? You sure? Yeah, sure. go ahead. Okay, I'm going to try it. Here we go. I'm going to try it. Gary. Look at that. Oh, goodness, right there. That is phenomenal. Is it? That is a keeper <laughs> right there. I'm telling you, that is restaurant good right there. If you know anything about her channel, when I say it's restaurant good, it is restaurant good. Now, I'm not sure how healthy it is because I see a lot of butter. Okay. How much butter is in there, Mama? About four tablespoons of butter and a little bit of olive oil. Okay. Not a little, not much, right? Ain't that what you said? Not see? much. Not much. I could have put a whole stick, but we stopped at four tablespoons. Oh, she could have stopped. Here we go. Look at that. Is that uh, sour cream or cream cheese? What is that? Sour cream. Sour cream. Mm. That is phenomenal. <laughs> Anyway. All right, guys. You've heard it here. That is so good right there. All right. Tell them bye, Mom. Bye. All right. Tell them bye, Isaac. Bye. And Jessica. Bye, y'all. Why, why do they seem so enthused? I just don't know. But anyway, <laughs> go back, catch the video on the rebound if you're coming in at the end to find out how to make this wonderful smothered catfish recipe. We got a little coleslaw with it tonight. We got some hush puppies with it tonight. We got a little, a little vegetable. Turn this. See them down there. I'll turn the camera down. Little vegetable medley to go along with it. What did you put in your medley, Isaac? Which season it with? I don't know. Garlic oh, parmesan. Garlic parmesan. Oh, I thought Isaac made it. I right, got some garlic parmesan in there. So anyway, Miss Leslie asked me to end this video for her. She's gonna do a little intro video for you guys, and uh, of course, she's probably already made. You've it already much. seen the intro. You've already <laughs> seen the intro. But anyway, anyway, as we close out tonight. 
Thank you guys for joining us. Hope you guys can uh, make this recipe pretty soon. If you make the recipe, drop us a, a line in the comment to let us know how well you enjoy this recipe and share the word on Facebook. If you had not subscribed, go and hit the subscribe, the bell button so you get all the updates when they come on. And anyway, like always, thank you for joining the farming pastor's wife here at l &B Farms. And remember, if the grease is hot enough, you, you can, can fry, fry anything. anything. All right, guys, take care. Good night. God bless you. We will see you all on the next video. Bye-bye.